Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Tale of Two Wastelands through Model Organizer. First, you're going to want to go to Model Organizer, and I'll leave uh, the websites in the description. Um, I recommend getting the installer version. Wait for it to download. Alright, you're also going to want to pick up WinRAR. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to download it, but I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. Alright, so we've got Mod Organizer downloaded. Go ahead and install that. Okay, and I suggest hitting Handle Lex Nexus links here. And I always install mine in my um, Steam folder along with my game. We'll go ahead and run it. Alrighty. So here we've got our different uh, profiles. <coughs> I suggest leaving one on the vanilla Fallout, not making any changes, and creating a new one for Tail 2 Wastelands. You just hit Manage, Create, and I'll go ahead and name it 2. And OK. Alright. And you're going to do automatic archive and validation on that as well. Go ahead and go over to it. And then you're going to want to go to Tale of Two Wastelands website, alpha download, and scroll down to the bottom. You're going to want to read all this. I already, I've already read all this, so I'm not going to, but yeah, I'd suggest doing that. Scroll down to downloads and pick any of the four. And it might take a little while depending on how fast your internet is, so I'll come back once it's done downloading. Alrighty guys, once it's downloaded, head over here to your downloads. Yeah, mine's right here. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and make a folder on your desktop or wherever you want it to be. I'm just going to name it the version, which is Tale of Two Wastelands 2.9.4b. Okay. Go ahead and put that here and run the installer. Okay, it should automatically detect the location of your games. Um, forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, you're going to want Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition and Fallout New Vegas, um, the official editions. I would recommend getting them through Steam. And we're going to change where it's getting it installed to. So I'm going to get rid of this here. Browse. And I have the folder saved to my desktop. So here it is. I'm going to put it in here. Tail to Wastelands Fill Mod. And hit install. <coughs> this may take a little bit. And we'll be back once it's finished. Alright guys, once it comes to an end, it's going to ask you if you'd like to automatically build foam mods. You can go ahead and hit no there. And it'll say, Tail 2 license has been success successfully installed. Just hit OK. You can exit out of that. Now we're going to go over to this folder. And you're also going to want to make another new folder. And name this what you want the mod to show up in as in Mod Organizer. What you're going to do is, with all these main files here, first you want to delete the foam mod folder. And then take the main files folder, drag it and drop it into the folder you just made. Go ahead and open this up and rename this folder to data. Now go ahead and open up the data folder. And back over here in the where we installed Tail 2 Wastelands, you're going to open up the optionals. And inside of each of these folders is an optional ESP for to add more to Tail 2 Wastelands. So you're going to want to read the descriptions for all these and if you want it, simply drag and drop that ESP into the main data folder. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do that for the ones I want, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, and once you've got all of the extras that you want, you go ahead and exit out of the optionals and delete that. And now we just have our TLT Wastelands folder here. Go ahead and add that to an archive. I just keep the name the same. You can add to an archive and change the name, but I just keep it the same name of the folder. And this is going to take a little while um, because of the size of the mod, so we'll come back once this is done. Alright guys, and once this draws to a close, you can go ahead and remove the folder. Just make sure to keep the the archive there. And open up Mod Organizer, and in the top left, click on Install New Mod from an Archive. And mine's on my desktop, but wherever you saved your archive to, just go and find it, open, and then just name it whatever you want here and hit manual. Then you're going to want to open up this to where you see data and then right click on it and hit set data directory. You've got all your stuff here. And it says make sure it says look good. And then hit OK. And this will take just a second. But yeah, once it's done, the check mark here and you'll see all these pop up. One other required mod is the mod configuration menu. So you'll want to go along to that exit that next page and just hit download with manager and it'll download, just double click to install. Wait this out. And install. Then hit the check mark again. And up here you'll want to run loot. This will sort your plugins for you so you don't have to do it manually. Then you're going to want to hit up here in the top right, sort plugins. Then it'll sort them for you. And hit apply. Then you can exit out of that. Also, a quick note before you jump into the game, you're going to want to go over to the archives folder, or tab here, and make sure all these are checked. As you can see, some of mine aren't checked here. I'm going to go ahead and check these. And you can and most likely will get crash crashes if you don't do this. Alrighty, and there you have it. We have successfully installed a Tale of Two Wastelands through Mod Organizer. Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if you found it helpful, I would appreciate a like or a comment. Um, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Tale of Two Wastelands um, since. They announced Fallout 4. I kind of wanted to do it before Fallout 4 comes out. Um, I'm going to be using converted mods, all found on Tale 2 Wastelands forums, and some other mod releases, and then some just regular New Vegas mods as well. Um, if you guys would like have any questions about any of those, or would like to see me do some more tutorials on any of those, um, just let me know down in the comments section. Um, and I appreciate you watching.